In this video, I'm going to describe the complexity of the penalty kill, which it is even in our league. I'm going to explain why maintaining a box formation in the defensive zone is crucial and why communication between players is essential. The first segment of this video is a crude and shitty presentation of how the penalty kill should be set up. In a 5 on 4 PK, the four players establish a box formation in the defensive zone. Composing the box are two forwards and two defensemen. In this video, the formation assumes a center and a left winger. Your collective priority is to keep the puck outside the box, preferably clearing the zone. The more functional and consistent this box formation is, the better the penalty kill has a chance of becoming. As you can see, Initial entry into the defensive zone results in some chaos, and while a little chaos is normal at this time, too much is bad, and there's too much chaos here. The center went too deep. He needs to form his corner of the box upon entering the zone. You really have to admire the opponent's positioning, though. It's just about perfect. Back to the action. <laughs> So everyone settled down, you can see a small box form, and that's good. Unfortunately, the center has his balls in a vice. So he makes his decision, and it's not a bad one. But here we see the craptacular flaw exposed. This douche nozzle is wide open for a score, but he's below the circles. So guess who's supposed to be covering him? You get four guesses, but you'll only need one. If you guessed that big bastard down low, you would be correct. There's enough space over here to permit the other defensemen to assume coverage of the crease. If the first defenseman shifts to his right, the box is more complete and therefore more effective. Fortunately, the open opponent was not used. And then, in a few seconds, everything changes, and everything is different. There's excellent coverage here. There's excellent coverage here. The center could be up a little higher. And now the defenseman is in a much better position to watch what's going on around him. It's amazing what a few feet of difference can make for a defenseman. This makes my panties ruffle, even now. The center is far too low. Look at all this fucking space. That's half the fucking defensive zone. There is actually enough space here for an elephant to take a dump. The center has to hold his position so that this defenseman can go here and this defenseman can go there. The point to it all is to maintain a functional box formation. If you don't, this can happen. <laughs> containment with a shitload of ice to work in unchallenged. So coming back to my shitty drawing, maintaining the box formation during a penalty kill is crucial to killing the penalty. But you may have to talk to each other on the ice to get it done. <laughs> 